Al Lewis, Al. Is I, that something? That's so, something. <laughs> how you doing, Al? How are you? My Good to pleasure. see you. Good to My see pleasure. you. We we missed each other a few times. Uh, That's right. Setting the up last interviews. Time we missed each other was in Atlanta. Atlanta, Two Georgia. Halloween's ago. Right, you remember? That's right. I was there for Ted Turner's party, uh -huh. and you guys somehow got delayed or something. Like right. Some southern gals <laughs> on the road. Well, you know how that is, Al. Story about a traffic jam <laughs> that never was. <laughs> Yeah. Al, Al, one of the things I wanted to ask you on my mind, I've seen you in, in, in you know, as Leo Schnauzer and, of course, right. his grandpa. How do, how do you play comedy? <laughs> how do you play comedy? Good yeah. Lord. That's like asking man of war how he wins races. <laughs> That's one of those questions. That, <laughs> That's a loaded question. Good Lord, huh? I mean, you can write a 2,000 page <laughs> on it and it'll tell you nothing. I think it's an inborn factor. Uh -huh. uh, the first thing is you can't be funny unless you think funny. Right. And by that I don't mean a joke. Uh -huh. Anybody can tell a joke. I mean this man standing here right now, see? Uh -huh. He's an appropriate joke right there. There's a man standing right in front of us, got right. his hands in his pockets. Okay. You know what a priest would say? What? A priest would say, for various reasons, take your hands out of your pocket. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> See, that's a joke. That's See, a that's joke. That's an example of a joke. Right. That's an old vaudeville joke. Okay. I'm old enough to play in vaudeville. Right. That's an old joke. But the ability to be funny is mm -hmm. you, in other words, more physical you or the world this way. Uh huh. And then slightly askew. Ah. That's. That's. I don't know how. I mean, there's no technique to it. Mm -hmm. It's just. I, I, I can't explain it. I mean, right. I've read all kinds of books, books on laughter, Max uh -huh. Eastman's book on what makes people laugh, and uh -huh. it's uh, it's something that that because the horse either runs it or he don't. Run it. I mean, that's it. <laughs> There's no in between, right? That's it. Secretary, <laughs> don't write me, you know, books on how he ran. He ran. I mean, that's it. He did it. You that's it. You just feel it and go with it, I guess. But what? You just feel it and sort of go with it, yeah, I guess. And you you have to have that. A whole sense of timing is very, uh -huh. very important. Mm -hmm. And the ability, and this, don't ask me how to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's what we call playing an audience. Okay. Uh, it's, it's being able to read faces. Ah. Read, in other words, mm -hmm. when you look at that man standing in front of us. With his hands in his pockets, looking, right? I see something completely different. Okay. I'm already thinking of eight, nine, ten comedic things about this guy. <laughs> say to him, he's a good boy. He is. Good boy. Oh, yeah. I tell you, this guy will take as many falls with me as the rest of us took over there. <laughs> and you know something? He'll enjoy it. He'll have fun with it. Yeah. He'll have yeah, fun with He's a guy who likes to laugh. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of people you want around you all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're playing an audience. Right. And you tell them if you happen to be a jokester, uh -huh. and you find what we call a hen in the audience, you know, the cackles, uh -huh. they work their weight and go. <laughs> they work their weight and go.